everyone wants to be the cool guy and everyone can be the cool guy when it's your turn to be the cool guy. If you are the coolest guy in the room and there's 10 people in the room, fine, run it, do your thing, be that cool guy. If someone cooler than you comes into the room, then shut the fuck up. Don't try to one-up them. Don't try to diminish their light. Don't try to be cooler than them. What is cool, Savon? What are you, in high school or something? You know what I'm talking about. The cool guy is the most engaging, the most charismatic, the most charming. Maybe mirrors people the best, but people gravitate to him or her. There, there, there are some classic examples of people who don't know when to stand, to stand down when someone cooler comes in the room. Everyone knows that man who's so charismatic and so amazing when you're one-on-one -on -one with him. But the second his wife gets around, he kind of like, he diminishes his own light and she has to get some of that attention. Like she tries to be as relevant as him. Everyone knows that wife who's super duper charming. She has something crazy funny she wants to say. She wants to share some ideas about politics she has, she has, but her husband diminishes her light. He has to like interject and kind of like overstep her always. There's the guy who has the most money in the room or the boss. They always have to be the center of attention even when they're not the cool guy. And when they're not the cool guy in the room, they, they try to attempt to take that mantle by diminishing other people's presence. And like everyone sees it, it's okay. There's always someone cooler than you. It's okay. You're just, you're just running a room, you're funny as shit, and then all of a sudden, Someone cooler than you comes in. It's okay. Pass the mantle. Take a deep breath and enjoy them. Learn something from them. Don't diminish other people's light. Don't try to be the coolest guy in the room when you're not. Just because you have the most money. Just because you're their boss. Just because you're their husband. Just because they're your wife. Don't hate on the people who are close to you. Who just happen to be cooler than you. It's not even hard. It's actually kind of a relief. Don't you love being around someone who's kind of like really cool and they kind of like are, 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 are receiving all of the attention and you can just kind of enjoy them and watch them? Watch them do their art, watch them kind of navigate the crowd, watch them be charming. I love that. And if you can't do that, then leave. But don't be the guy who goes out of his way and makes a mistake and tries to be cooler. If you really have any chance of being cooler than the coolest guy in the room, your only hope is to do it by being quiet. If you do it because you're the boss or you're the spouse, if you're the spouse, you know you bet that your spouse may cower to you and let you take, take some of the spotlight because they don't want to deal with your shit afterwards. They know you need that. You speak to them behind closed doors about your jealousy and your envy. If you're that person or if you're the boss who just can't let any of his employees shine, when you're not around, people will, people, people will hate on you. They won't like you. Share that. Share that spotlight. When someone's cooler than you, actually, you should elevate them, even give them more attention. Don't try to take it from them. Don't try to diminish them. You will never make yourself better by pulling someone else down. Never will you make yourself better by pulling someone else down. Let the best rise. Support them. It'll be your turn someday but not if you're wasting your time pulling other people down. That's the cool code. Good night.